Hi guys, Alberto here. You're watching the Bedroom Rocker YouTube channel. Today we're taking a quick look at the TC Electronic Plethora X5. I've been trying out this unit for the past days and I'm gonna make a full review on it in the future. Today I'm just gonna make a quick and dirty pedal board. As you know, with many of these multi-effect units, the amount of options may make them a bit overwhelming. Uh, while some players really like to dive into the menus and tweak every single possible parameter, there are some other players who just want to grab a preset and go play and spend more time playing rather than tweaking. So I hope this video helps to illustrate the functionality and the workflow with the Plethora and helps you decide if it gets simple enough for you. So I'm gonna build a very simple pedal board, uh, then show you a couple of sound samples and finally give my personal opinion on it. So let's go. <laughs> For the board, I'm gonna use my good old full-tone OCD version 2 overdrive and then rely on the plethora for all time-based and modulation effects. I'm gonna keep it simple, so just use reverb, delay, maybe a tremolo or a phaser. I'm mostly using the default presets. I'm not gonna use the mesh function nor the effects loop. Uh, so I have the OCD going into the plethora and then the output of the plethora into the input of my Victory V40 amplifier. So I'm basically integrating the plethora into a fairly traditional analog drive and tube amp setup. Uh, for the recording, I'm gonna attenuate the amp using the two nodes torpedo capture and then load a cabinet simulation using the wall of sound plugin. So to start building a new board, the first thing is to switch from play to edit mode and then I'm gonna move to the next board and then I have the option to duplicate the current board or to create a brand new from scratch uh, which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, now I have the five slots completely empty and I'm gonna start by the slot number five uh, which is going to be my reverb. So I'm gonna select the Hall of Fame 2 reverb and now I can here set the parameters of the reverb and here I can pick among the different tone prints uh, for this, I'm just going to use the Hall of Fame uh, default reverb. And in this case, I can set the decay, uh, the tone, and the effects level. Uh, this is how it sounds like. So it's pretty lovely howl type reverb. I'm just going to reduce the decay a little bit. Uh, also, the tone, I'm going to make it a tiny bit darker so that it doesn't get in the way and also reduce a little bit the effects level because I'm also going to play with some overdrive. So that's pretty good for me. Uh, now I'm going to deactivate uh, the reverb and move to effect slot number four. And here I want to have my tremolo. Uh, so let's pick the pipeline, tap tremolo. And again, we can control the speed, the depth, the volume, and pick among the different tone prints. And let's give it a go to this vintage style tremolo. It should be like a MP type uh, tremolo. And this is how it sounds like. <laughs> So it's already pretty good in the default settings. I'm gonna maybe make it a bit slower and a bit uh, deeper. That's lovely. Let's move to slot number three, uh, which is going to be my delay. I wanna have a long delay here. Uh, let's get the flashback to delay and for the delay the parameters are well the delay time the feedback or the amount of repeats and the effects level I'm gonna go with the flashback default let's see how it sounds it's way too long for me I want something around 300 that's much better a bit less repeats and I'm gonna turn the effects level down a little bit so that it doesn't get in the way of the main guitar sound. So I want this for a sort of lead guitar tone uh, with some delay for solos. Mm. 
So that will do. Deactivate the delay, deactivate the overdrive. And now on slot two, I'm gonna set another delay, uh, which I have, uh, which I want to set as a very short slapback type of delay, uh, just to fatten up my guitar sound for, for rhythm playing and also for some uh, more vintage style solos. Uh, so again, delay feedback and effects level. Let's pick a tone print for this one, uh, just to show you the how it works. For the flashback delay, there's a ton of tone prints available. I haven't tried many of them yet, but I really like this Echoplex one. Yeah, Echoplex. I'm gonna set it very short, maybe 170 milliseconds will do. Uh, for the feedback also, maybe one or two repeats. And the effects level can be a bit higher because the repeats are, are short anyway. I think even less repeats, maybe 150. Yeah, let's hear some drive. <laughs> That's one of my favorites so far. And here we go. If we move to play, we see already the board is populated. So we have the short, the long delay, the tremolo and the reverb. And for the first effect, let's try some modulation. Uh, I would like a, a phaser, but uh, they don't have it yet in this version. They will come up in a, in a future uh, software update, but they do have a vortex flanger that it's quite nice and should do a similar job uh, in the default settings. So here's the flanger in its default settings. That's how it sounds like. I found it a bit uh, too metallic for me. I'm gonna maybe reduce the feedback a little bit uh, and reduce the speed. So that's nice, that adds some movement to some rhythm guitar parts. It's also pretty cool for some funky stuff. Now if we switch back to play, of course, now we have all our effects. Uh, there's one last thing that I want to do, uh, which is set for my long delay. I want to be able to control uh, the repeat time with a tap tempo. And we can do this uh, by going back to edit mode, going to the last option, which is Pletora settings, then select board settings, uh, second foot switch assignment. And here we can see all the effects that I have in this board. And effect number three is my long delay. And then instead of mesh, I will set that to tap tempo. Now I can go back to play mode uh, and can he see here we have the, uh, the delay tempo showing. And if I hold the foot switch, I can tap this and switch the delay time. <laughs>
So let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, does it look easy enough for you to use? How did you enjoy the sounds? Make sure to write in the comment section below. To me, I found it fairly easy to use. I did watch some YouTube tutorials beforehand, but I did not have to read the product manual, uh, which for me is a big plus. I found the default presets uh, worked mostly very nicely, and with some minor tweaks, I could really get it sounding the way I wanted. So I also found the controls are responsive and they did what they were supposed to do. In terms of sound, uh, I was really happy with the flashback delay and the Hall of Fame reverb, and I kind of had very high expectations for those. And I was also very pleasantly surprised uh, with both the flanger and the tremolo. Uh, one of the things that I disliked is that uh, the main knobs do not work in play mode. So if you want to adjust any of the parameters, you really have to go into edit mode, select the effect that you want to adjust, and then manipulate the parameter. So this requires two to three clicks, uh, even to adjust something as simple as the reverb level or the delay level or repeats. However, this is something that's on top five priority list for TC Electronic to adjust uh, in the next firmware update. So hopefully you will be able to assign uh, some adjustable parameters for those knobs in play mode so that you can very quickly adjust them. Some other very cool features that are coming in the next firmware update are likely the viscose vibe and the helix phaser and also a looper which in my opinion is a must have uh, in a tool like this one. So that was it for today. Hope this video was helpful to you. If this is the case, please make sure to give it a big like. And if you want to see more gear reviews and guitar related content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date. If you want to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links to the Plethora X5 in the video description below. And also check our Patreon page uh, where you can support us and gain access to downloadable content such as backing tracks and presets. Keep on rocking and cheers.